Hi guys, hi, this is uh, just a short advice to uh, so-called fake Nollywood celebrities and their fake lifestyle and flaunting all their fake world that they don't even own. Give it a stop, stop. You look, it's ridiculous. I cannot comprehend it. You see some of these Nollywood actresses uh, traveling abroad. There is nothing wrong with traveling abroad. The ticket they have even used, they have not even finished paying for it. It's on debt. They are still owing. Some of them have run away and gone into hiding from the person that bought, gave them the ticket. Maybe some of them paid half price. They are yet to pay. You see them flaunting all their designer clothes, bag and shoes. They will see them taking pictures. They want you to know if they travel anywhere. They want you to know that you travel abroad. Sometimes when they are even doing a stopover, they will take a picture all over the place, making it look like they went into town. Where if they are doing a stopover from one country to the other, you, it's only within one hour or 45 minutes. If you are not careful and stay inside the airport, you will lose the next connecting flight. You see some of them going to do shopping, they put the, the uh, shopping bags. You know, when you go to do shopping, they always give you the shopping bags, especially from a company. They have their own bags, special bags, flaunting it around, putting it out there. You see them standing in front of a 4 by 4 a very expensive Jeep. Uh, taking pictures and oh god has blessed me things like that they will, they will take a picture outside a house with a very nice door frame or inside an apartment it's my home i just acquired it they are all lies listen never live your life to impress anybody because you have nobody to impress it does not make sense if you try to impress people you will end up dead you will drop dead do what you can afford to do conveniently to please yourself, to make yourself happy. Forget about people. Nollywood is not paying so much anymore. It is so saturated. Gone are the days where you had, a, uh, where they had a lot of uh, uh, um, organized people controlling Hollywood when they first started in the heyday, when they just started, they had a group group of actors and and they used to pay them good they were so professional but now you have dick and harry's as production assistant directors producer and it's saturated it's like a room where you ought to fit two or three people you got 20 people in that room that's what nollywood is about today so oh yeah actresses all, all those of you, oh ye yeah, addresses, I say oh ye yeah, addresses just as when God wants to speak to his people, he say oh ye yeah, thou. That is why I'm calling you people now because you people are mighty. Yeah? Oh ye yeah, addresses, both the male and female in Hollywood, live your life according to how much is in your purse. That is if there is money in your purse. Cut the crap. Cut all this fake life, uh, trying to impress people. You have nobody to impress. It does not make sense. Live your life according to what you can do. You have nobody. You have no one to impress. Yeah? You are the one who will suffer. Yeah? You are the one who will suffer. Period. You know, it, somebody who truly works hard for their money, we not we not go out on, on on TV to flaunt it because he knows the value of what he has worked for. So let Tonto DK saga be an example for all of you. Don't go and because I've been on TV and I have a name. The money that you are getting from Nollywood go and start a side business. There are some actresses there who are doing that. They will go and act, they will still go back to their business. They will make side business, they will make side money for stability, financial stability. They are not coming out to show off their house and their houses and things like that. Those are the clever ones, that's those are the smart ones. But people like Tonto DK, you have worse off in Hollywood than that Tonto DK. So let her saga be a warning. And those of you who want to be like Shade Okoya or Regina Daniels, be careful, though. Be very, very careful. Don't use another, another person's clock to determine your own time. Everybody's time, different.
Okay, take care. Bye.